Hey, what's up? Today I want to show you how I made this cyberpunk scene in Blender. And honestly, it's pretty simple. I want to show you how I made these buildings, a little bit about the arrangement. I want to show you how I make these LED signs, also very simple. I'm going to talk about the details a bit these antennas so when it comes to these buildings they're very simple it's just about modeling one floor and then using an array modifier to make more floors start off with one cube like that press s to scale and then shift z and then only scale on x and y and make it big and flat like this if you want to be realistic you can like make it uh, like one floor should probably be three meters apply the scale go to edit mode and then do loop cuts like this and here in the corner in the bottom left corner you can see the amount of uh, cuts you, you're doing uh, so let's go for 24 and then on the other side let's do 24 as well just to keep it uh, symmetrical and then uh, alt click on these faces to select them and press i twice to make this kind of inset then press Alt E to extrude along normals and then inset them a little bit. And this method uh, I learned from Max Hay. And then you have your first floor. And for this, you can have like different materials. So for the windows that I have selected now, uh, make a new material and then make a new slot and assign the windows to that. And they should be something like, okay, metallic, no roughness. And then like 0.7 alpha and that's gonna look uh, like windows basically and then for the rest you can do whatever material you want you can just make it like dark or you can like add some concrete texture i think i have one here uh it's just it just looks like that pretty much it's not super important like you, you won't see much of this anyway and you should probably also like cube project that so that you get some nice uv maps and then you have your first floor and then you add an array modifier on the z axis one and then just make it as tall as you want and you can obviously add details let's put the cursor to selected so that we get a cube in the middle here and uh, put it in the corner and then i have the mirror modifier as a shortcut there and then here in the eyedropper tool, select that building and it's going to mirror on there. You can do both X and Y so that in each corner there's a little cube. And then in edit mode, you can just pull that up so that it has like corner pillars. You can add, you know, details like that. And on the main building that I used, I did like, okay, some horizontal lines as well. And these vertical ones and a roof basically. And that's pretty much it. And then for the other version, uh, it's something like this. Also very simple. It's basically a box and it has these like kind of balcony type things like walkways and some uh, like rail here, railing. And it doesn't have to be super complicated. You'll add more detail later with these antennas and stuff. But that's basically it for the buildings. It's a nice, easy way to, to make buildings essentially. And then the arrangement. I mean, you, you want to like place a camera, uh, get an angle approximately, like do you want it to be on the ground? Do you want it to be like on one of the buildings? Just, you know, you can look up references, see what other people have done. Just Google like cyberpunk. Yeah, you can literally just Google cyberpunk um, and you'll get a bunch of cool images and you can like get some inspiration. But basically from there, you place your buildings in a way that you think is cool. And I went for something like this. It's like a walkway and then there's uh, that one building on the sides and on, in the front there's these tall skyscrapers. Uh, so you want to like block out the main like big objects in your scene and uh, then you can just from there place all of these little things. Uh, but I'll show you also how I made that wet floor or like the ground. Uh, so it's just a plane and it has it's just black or like dark dark gray and then i have this asphalt texture uh, it's very hard to see but it's a it's a displacement texture it's, it's black and white mm, you can get that from like quixel uh 
Polyhaven, Ambient CG, wherever, you know, that goes into a bump node. And in the strength setting here, I've hooked up a noise texture that goes into a color ramp. And that's what's giving these like puddles, basically, and this variation in the strength or the height. And here are the settings for that if you want to copy them. But basically, you can just play around with these until you get something that you, you like. It looks cool. You get like reflections in the ground. It looks kind of cool. And then for the signs, I have this big one. That's like the main one. Uh, I'll show you on that. The texture is just this. It's a, a kind of black and white text and symbol little thing I did. Uh, and that's the main thing you want. You like something black and white, and that's easy to make or like easy to use here in Blender. That goes into one of these mix nodes and multiply factor one. And then on the top here, I have these, there's a wave texture, which uh, is just to get these horizontal lines which makes it look kind of like an LED screen or whatever, you know, a hologram or, and then those two go into another multiply mixer. And that's just some noise just to get some more variation. And then finally another mix node with a gradient in the bottom, like this orange gradient. Uh, here we have that. It's just, uh, it goes from like red to orange, just yeah, to get some more variation basically. And then here, from this multiply node, so it looks like this, you have these lines and some noise. This black and white image goes into the alpha, so that the black parts will disappear. And the other one goes into emission, and the strength is like 2000, so that's pretty bright. Base color should probably be, actually it's not going to be visible anyway, because it's, like it's going to disappear. Uh, when you're using this alpha setup. Uh, so that's basically it. That's what I'm doing for all of these signs here. And that's also like the only lighting that's going on in the scene. And another like good thing for lighting is to have like this volumetric cube. And for that, I have these settings. Uh, it just gives this foggy effect and the lights look really cool when you have that. So uh, just a cube with this principled volume shader and uh, you're all good. Just cover it all over the entire scene, you know. Then when it comes to details, here in my asset browser, I have like previous things that I've modeled, like antennas, scaffolding, some pipes, and those are the ones that I used. And just I just scattered them around like where they would make sense on top of buildings. I have some other things here that I found on Blender Kit, like trash cans, some boxes, dumpsters, whatever an electric box. And then for these wires that are just hanging across here, I think that's from uh, an add-on that you can find. I think it's just uh, extra, one of these like add curve, yeah, add curve extra object. And then if you have two objects, I call them wire boxes, a bit difficult to see, but there's one little box here and then there's another little box there. If you select those, then shift A, Go to curve, knots, and then catenary. And you can you get this hanging wire. It's very low now, but if you adjust this value, you can adjust that. And you can also go in here at a bevel radius, so it becomes thicker, and then a bit of bevel resolution, so it's a bit more round. And there you have a wire and you can just add those, spam those around. And that's pretty much it for details. Just go crazy. And that's like, you should put some time into that just to make it look lived in and whatever. And uh, yeah, it takes time, but it's uh, it's kind of fun and it makes your scene a lot better. And if you ever get bored or if you ever, ever get uninspired, just look up references, like I said. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's easy. Now go do it.